Only Can's Their State, released on Itch.io, January 10th, 2021. Developed by Only Can's team in apparent cooperation with She's LLC, Only Can's treated you to a safe place for you to enjoy, catalog, and embrace the whole line of She's branded soda products. Beginning a session, you are greeted with your companion. Companion? Campanion. I might taste a little bitter, but I go down smooth. And allowed to spray and snap pictures. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Upon release of the game, its developer, Sean Oxpring, posted, Now I am become death, destroyer of worlds which should have been our first sign something with this game was off. But a game about cans moaning while you spray them is horny, but not threatening, right? Is... Is that box breathing? What the hell is Project S? There will be consequences. Yeah. We might have to look into this one a little deeper. The history of She's LLC is presented in the descriptions of each can. Some give dates. Others hint at important events, objects, or people. Most of the information isn't given in order, requiring the researcher to fill in the blanks created by one can's description with the information given in another. However, once completed, a few oddities emerge. I won't go through the entire timeline here, but these are some important events. 1960. John Shees III marries Josephine. 1965. John Shees IV is born. 1975. John Shees III takes over the company after his father's death. 1983. John Shees III creates Jelly Bean specifically to reach out to politicians. 1986. John Shees IV celebrates his 21st birthday. John Shees III sends out 347 Shees rings with the invites and creates a special drink for this occasion named Lemon Party. 1,200 cans were produced, and only someone with a she's ring can acquire the drink today. Anyone who received a ring would go on to become some of the company's most active investors. 1990. Special soda sent to the Queen of England. 1998. The Tropical Storm Scandal. John She's the Third leaves the company. His son doesn't take over. 2001. Russian company She's buys She's LLC. 2004. John She's the third spends a year in Romania researching local legends. 2012. John She's the third uses investment money from Sahir Sheikh to reacquire his company. John She's the Third releases five new sodas. She's Light, She's Gamer Energy, She's Full Medemus, Lingonberry, and Licorlicious. The release of Full Medemus gives him access to Shake's 
ancient Egyptian relics. She's Liquor Lysias is released as John She's the Third prepares for the 2012 apocalypse, as predicted in the Mayan calendar. The Lingonberry is released specifically for a fan. 2013. John She's the Third in Ichiro Yori of Cyberlife Industries found the She's Research and Development Facility off the coast of Hokkaido, Japan. Veggie broth with morphine is reinstated as a flavor. 2015. During the holiday season, Cheeky Bitto Pud is released. Consumers stop eating and just consume Cheeky Bitto Pud till it's pulled from shelves in early 2016. Its addictiveness creates a black market demand for the product. In that same year, we finally get confirmation of John She's the Fourth's death in a letter John She's the Third sent to his widow, Joy She's. Its tone is telling. Dear Joy, I hope you're doing well, my dear. I know we haven't spoke since the passing of my son, your husband. But I've decided to create a she's drink in your honor. Blushing Rose. I hope Blushing Rose will be the olive branch we need after some rocky times between us. I know I've made some accusations about my son's death, but those are all in the past now. I'm working hard to honor his legacy and I would love for you to be part of those efforts. Please enjoy John She's the Third. Two thousand seventeen John She's the Third begins exploring the oceans. Quote I've learned much about what waits down in the abyss, what they left behind for us. And now with she's fisheries, we shall bring it all to the surface. For my son. 2019. It's discovered John She's the Third is selling off production facilities to fund a secret project. 2020. Project S is completed. According to the description, John She's the Third gave his own life to build both can and human soul combined in one perfect organism. It was the first of many. After John's death, an intern Susie O. Fishbrack comes forward with an idea for a new soda. Cookies and cream. 2021. Blueberry tart and juicy melon are combined into a new flavor. Blueberry melon twist. I know this one seems innocuous at best, but we'll come back to it later. 2024, Ms. Fishbrack becomes the head of She's LLC. Now I know that you've all had some reservations about the direction that I've been taking She's LLC, but I'd like to extend this celebration as a peace offering. I promise you, together, we can take She's LLC further than you could ever dream. This Valentine's Day, won't you all join me as we devote ourselves to the future of She's. Strange business moves to support research, an obsession with legends, and a secret project with an unknown purpose. When presented in order, 
information found on the surface level of only Kans itself gives us insight into John Shee's the third's drive to complete Project S. It also shows a man that from the very beginning wanted to exercise political influence through his sodas. Post 2015, he even seems to have been experimenting with ways to make his soft drinks addictive. I wonder if there's that much in the game itself. Holy fizz. An alternative reality game, or ARG, is an interactive networked narrative that uses the real world as a platform and employs transmedia storytelling to deliver a story that may be altered by players' ideas or actions. Solving an ARG often involves sitting down to take bits and pieces from what the creator has shown us and put them together ourselves in a way that makes sense to the next part of the game is released. Local 58 TV, Dad, and others have been running for years, giving small hints in each release to the real story behind what is seemingly random. Creators like Scott Coffin used ARG techniques in the past to tease new FNAF games, hiding things in images and in his website's HTML code. When searching Fizz Inside Me, we found the following. SBF. I'm just doing it this way because I forgot my Slack login again, and IT are a bunch of pricks. Old school style, yeah. Hey, Ali. Can you stop asking the narrator about John? He's not allowed to say anything and you know it. OHS. Sorry. This whole work from home sitch is driving me nuts. I don't understand what they want us to do with this site. This is the global site tag, gtag.js, Google Analytics. Don't change it again, please, Sebastian. Please. OHS. I can't help but think there's something weirds going on, though. Why was HNS funded through the fisheries department? SBF. Tax breaks, I guess. Above my pay grade. OHS. I guess. Still. Don't know why they moved into fishing. Makes no sense. How do I ask the narrator? Hmm. A story that may be altered by players' ideas or actions. I wonder. We have ourselves an ARG. Before I go further, I need to make sure to thank Program Bauer, James Van Kessel, his cursedness, Morgan's cat, and anyone else who jumped into the Only Can Discord's deep lore page to help out. For the rest of this, I stand on the back of giants. After coming through the files, Program Brower caught that there were things in the game we had missed. 
So going back, I attempted to play the game wrong. Failing can after can. Till finally. Blueberry Melon Twist. I'm so happy to be here with you. <laughs> did a second pass of the lore, and thanks to his cursedness, took a closer look at the name, Suzio Fishbrack. Hmm. But even with these things, we were missing one final piece of the puzzle. We knew two more files existed. But how to unlock them? Ask the narrator. Hmm. I don't remember seeing that file before. Welcome to our hot and steamy collection, where we celebrate the love of She's fans from all around the globe. Click on She's Original to select it, then click Begin Session to start the show. If I delete them, they come back. What if I ask the narrator about... John. H&S? Hot and steamy? No. The cave has a pocket of air. It's breathable. Gotta cut the scuba. Roger. We see it. It's covered in slime. Quickly. 
What's on the platform? Is there a box on the platform? Affirmative, Mr. Shees. We'll retrieve it and bring it up. Over and out. After the audio plays, if you look at the hot and steamy text file, it reads, It came from those before. It's never explained why John Cheese III left the company in 1998, after the tropical storm scandal. It wouldn't be unreasonable to assume that John Cheese IV would have taken over for his father, but he didn't. The 1999 Cherry Pop has no mention of John Cheese IV as its creator, which is strange, as this would have been his first soda. If the tropical storm scandal and John Shee's the Force death are somehow related, then it gives John Shee's the third a reasonable motivation to leave the company. Obsessed with bringing his son back to life, John Shee's the third spent his exile researching Romanian legends of the Maroi, or as they're more commonly referred to, vampires. On his return, he worked quickly to acquire relics from Egypt, which, if he was looking into resurrection, were likely items connected to the myth of Osiris's resurrection. Shee's fisheries may have been searching for the old god city of Rie, which bore fruit in 2018, according to one of the files we've unlocked. These items, combined with Cyberlife Industries R&D, could have been just what John Shees III needed to complete Project S. The capture of John Shees IV's soul in Thirstborn, and his eventual resurrection as Susie O. Fishbrack. Lemon Party is only available to someone with one of the 347 Shees rings. And Project S, established as John Shee's the Force Soul in a human can hybrid, calls the player Father and speaks to you as if you are John Shee's the Third for the entire encounter. It also seems as if he has the ability to see as his single eye tracks us while we spray and snap. And yes, the description of Cookies and Cream does say John Shees III died in 2020. The recording of the R&D shootout appears to be dated October 10th, 2020, and the game didn't come out until 2021. But if you listen closely, you can hear John Shees III spraying and snapping Project S. So it is likely we play as John Shee's the third during Thirst Hot and Steamy's final can was served exclusively at the board's Valentine's Day party. So it's likely we're a board member in the DLC. The Shee's family obsession with influencing the powerful, the quote, it was the first of many, and the odd case of Blueberry Melon Twist, seemingly having two souls trapped in one can, had me convinced that Only Cans was not just a pun about only fans. But I couldn't prove it to the point where I felt comfortable suggesting that it was a sure thing. That is, until the latest update added this scene, which you see after completing the final can of Hot and Steamy. We are going to do great things together. You can't avoid this scene, even if you don't touch the mouse and try and fail. 
you've already lost. Ms. Fishbrack's ultimate goal will be for us all to feel the fizz inside ourselves. When she has completed her work, there will be only cans. A conspiracy like this, a conspiracy investigation, the rope has to tighten slowly around everyone's neck. You build convincingly from the outer edges in. You get ten times the evidence you need against the hunts and the liddies. They feel hopelessly finished. They may not talk right away, but the grip is on them. And then you move up and do the same thing at the next level. If you shoot too high and miss, then everyone feels more secure. Lawyers work this way. I'm sure smart reporters must too. Deep throat. I may have aimed too high, trying to expose She's LLC by accusing its CEO and put the investigation back months as everybody at She's will be on the defensive. Developers, artists, writers, QA testers, everybody has to go into hiding after this. But you can help. Join the conspiracy. Download only cans. And when the new DLCs come out, help expose the scandal and anyone at She's, with the candor to speak out candidly, we will canvas the internet, leaving scant avenues unscanned. Nothing is too insignificant. We will defeat the Illuminati. Hey everybody, this is El Fodder. Thanks for watching. Uh, video took a little while to make. I appreciate you sticking through to the end. Uh, give it a like if you liked it. Uh, if you want to subscribe, go for it. If you want information about Only Cans, check down the doobly-doo. I've got some information in there for you, including a link to where you can download the game. Uh, obviously, there's no actual conspiracy, no actual conspiracy. And, and uh, you know, of course, I'm not being forced to say that by anyone. So, you know, it's all good. All good. Have a good night.